This video footage is coming from my Sony A6000 camera. And now the footage is coming from the Insta360 Link 2C. <laughs> Let me do that one more time. Sony A6000 Link 2C. I don't normally film videos using a webcam, but here we are, this is a webcam. I've used Insta360 products for quite some time now, and I gotta say, they're really trying to blur the line between normal cameras and webcams. Really the main difference you'll notice going from this webcam to my mirrorless camera is when you look at the chair right now, it's kind of in focus. Let me switch one more time to my Sony a6000 so you can see it's a little bit blurry. My chair is a little bit blurry now. That's what you get with having a $400 lens. But if you don't need a blurry chair, then you could just get this webcam for a lot cheaper and it's still really good image quality. This webcam was sent to me from Insta360 so I could test it out and make this video. I want to watch Walk you through some of the tests I have done, show you what you get out of the box, show you how the software works, then I will share with you my final thoughts about this webcam. Right now I'm using my XLR mic. Let me go ahead and switch to the webcam mic. All right, so this is the webcam mic and the mic is much further away, but I just want to show you what the mic's going to sound like in an environment like this. And I'm back to my XLR mic. Let's do some lighting tests. So I don't have any key light in front of me. I just have a blue light over here, a purple light over here. Let's turn those off. All right. Now all lights are off and clearly you can still see me that the light that you see is coming from my monitors. Got to say low light conditions like if you're talking to someone at night, they can still see you pretty well. And now I've got my overhead lights on. So this is kind of a normal situation. Most people, if you're in a home office, you're just going to have normal lights overhead, plain white background, something like that. This is what it's going to look like for most people. Not bad. All right. This is the Insta360. 4k webcam so this does not have the gimbal but it is still able to track you so we got the webcam here we've got the mount for the webcam so it looks like that is just magnetic nice and then in here we've got a USB-C to USB-C with an adapter included if we need that so you can put this mount on a tripod or you can mount it on a monitor or your laptop and you can tilt the webcam here and then obviously you could just rotate it however you want because it's magnetic. There is a cover here. So if you want visually a way to know for sure that you cannot be viewed, you can use that. And just for a size reference, this is the Logitech Brio 4K. So you can see the Logitech Brio is pretty long. Otherwise, it's a pretty similar shape, just a lot shorter this way. So I'm doing a screen recording of the software right now. So if I want to move my head around like that, I can, can move this to get myself centered in the screen. You can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out. So this is 4K. So right now I've got kind of a wide angle. If I want to zoom in, I can I can zoom in way too far. Let's, sorry about that, let's zoom out. And if I was standing up, I could turn on full composition and it would focus on your head, half body or whole body. As far as color and things go like that, everything is basically set to auto, but you can manually adjust if you want, like brightness, you could adjust like that. Contrast, same deal. I find that auto does a great job. You can also turn HDR on or off. In a setting like this, it won't make a huge difference, but say, you're sitting behind a window. The background also allows you to blur or you can set a virtual background. You can also put on makeup. So let me go ahead and do that full strength now. Um, probably won't be using this setting too much, but it exists. And then you can turn gesturing on or off and you can set different audio modes as well. So plenty that you can do in this software. So overall, if you're looking for a webcam that has quality that's high enough that you could film a YouTube video or have a good quality for a conference call or something like that, I think you'll be really impressed with this camera. It also has cool features like auto tracking. I can go like this and now I'm tracking myself. So if I move around, it's going to follow me. And the camera also has a privacy cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to finish the video. See you later.